actor, so. <laughs> Uh, that's what the one month growth looks like on Nomadic Fanatic. I'm gonna go for two. I'm gonna go for two. I've actually been taking a selfie every single day so that I can put together a little montage to see how far I take this. Out. We uploading this video with some Nomad Internet link below. Thanks, guys. I, I need to go back because some some context. So the Quinault Beach Casino, the, the camp the camp area there, there might be another reason why it's so empty. Here's I've been promoting that they have 50 sites out there for uh, dry boondocking. To go when I came back, they were charging ten dollars all seven days of the week in the summertime. So June, July, and August, you had to pay to be out there. This time back. Get this, guys. It is $20 a night to boondock year-round uh, Sunday through Thursday. On Friday and Saturday, it's $35 a night. Ridiculously, stupidly expensive to park my own RV on, on a piece of unlevel gravel out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. More, because there's a restaurant I'd never been to over there, Moby Dick's. But I Ladies and gentlemen, I am gay, gay, gay. I like long, big cocks. I am a so pet, so pet gay. I like long, big cocks. Now, once again, I would like to make this very clear. I am gay, gay, gay. I like long, big cocks. I am a so pet, so pet gay. I like long, big cocks. Eh, lots of fish. Let's let's go ahead and try their uh, fish and chips though. I want to go back to, to the casino here because I this is it's been bugging me ever since I heard about how much they're charging and how much inflation and costs and stuff like this and I finally realized why it bugs me so much because I have been promoting this place I I I I have been promoting this place for years I I I I have been bringing people to Ocean Shores who may not have come from Seattle or Olympia, but I always said, you know, you got a place to boondock. Back then, it was worth it for a couple nights, you know? I, I really feel like I would love to have a sit down with management or... I think in all fairness, I should explain to you exactly what it is that I do. I'll crack your fucking head wide open in front of everybody. Hopefully, you'll be coming out of your coma. And guess what? I'll split your fucking head open again. Cause I'm fucking stupid. I don't give a fuck about jail. That's my business. And we know what you do, don't we, Charlie? You fuck people out of money and get away with it. Yeah. I put so much money in, in, into that place as far as food and drinks. I'm not, well, I'm not gonna stay here again. I did it because I was already parked and comfortable and wanted to find out, sharing that information with you. I would recommend if you're someone like me who's a boondocker, this place is no longer welcome. It's no longer a welcoming place. It's an epic fail, and <laughs> they got way too greedy. With that said, I'm okay with the cost, because I think a cost keeps the bad people away that might abuse it and might not clean up after this enough or, or break some rules that hurt other people. You know what I mean? I'm not going to stay here again. The cost keeps the bad people away that might abuse it and might not clean up after this enough or, or break some rules that hurt other people. You know what I mean? It is actually Nomadic Fanatic. I do have his plane ticket that I pulled out of this trash here. And I do have the video. Raised the price 400 times and didn't add anything. They just took away stuff. It is what it is though.